Today I'm very excited that you're here because I want to share with you an absolutely classic, timeless and very traditional Greek dish called Hirino Selinato or Hirino Meselino Avgolemono, which is loosely translated to uh, pork with celery in uh, that luscious, delicious Avgolemono sauce. Very easy to make, not complicated at all. It only tastes like it took like three days to make. Very easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So to get us started, I'm going to fire up my pot here. This is where all the magic will happen. And what I'm going to do is add about three tablespoons of my Greek extra virgin olive oil to this. Plus, I'm going to also add three tablespoons of butter. Now, because I'm in Canada and it's winter time now, whenever lemons happen to go on sale, guess what Ken is going to be making? Everything is going to be lemon inspired. Avo lemono, lemon sauces, lemon cakes, lemon puddings. I mean, when they're on sale, I put this stuff on my cereal for Christ's sake. But anyway, so moving along, my butter is well on its way to melting down, and that's what I want, along with my olive oil. What I'm using for today's recipe is four generous portions of pork loin. I'm just going to place them in my pan. Nice and easy. Perfect. Just like that. And let those kind of cook away and get going. The next part of this, while this is going is a little bit of salt will go on my pork, a generous amount of pepper, and once we flip these, same deal will apply. Next thing is our onions. What I'm going to do is just slice up my onions. Typically in this recipe, it's for a finely uh, dice or a fine, very fine chop. In my case, no need. I like to see what I'm eating, and I like not only to taste my ingredients, but to see my ingredients as well. So carefully, you're going to take two onions and just slice them. I'm going to take now my sliced onions, just place them here in my pot, and get those cooking down and working as well. Now, Winter in Canada, when it comes to fruits and veggies, is kind of a no-brainer. This is how our celery in Canada <laughs> comes in the winter time. I've got a gorgeous bag of celery. It's about two pounds. It may sound like a lot, but it's really not. Not for this dish. It's already pre-cleaned, pre-cut. looks just perfect. What I'm going to do for this is very simply break these stalks into thirds. Now, I don't like celery that's too, too long in my dishes because this is going to cook down with the, with the pork as well. So this will go in there. And for those of you that have tried this, my friends, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A plate of this, a chunk of feta, and some like fresh, crusty bread. You know where this is going. So I'm just going to continue uh, thirding up my celery stalks and adding them to my pot. All right, and that's the last of my celery going in there. I know it looks like a lot of celery. Well, actually, it is a lot of celery, but it's filling up the pot. That's totally fine. What we're going to do at this point now is crank up the heat to high. And what I'm going to do is cover my pot or my pork and my uh, celery until it's just covered with water. There is no real measurement of this. So whatever kind of, whatever amount, depending on the pot you use. As an example, right now I've got four cups going in there and I'm going to fill up another four and see where it takes us. That's pretty good right there. My pot is pretty much full. I don't want to get too crazy, so what I've done here is added about eight cups of water. 
you play it by ear and see what works in terms of the size of pot you're doing. One more time, a little bit of salt will go into this for the pot. I seasoned salt one side, salt on the other side of my pork, and now I add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper to my actual broth that I'm making here, because that's exactly what we're doing. What we're gonna do is bring this up to a boil, cover and simmer this for approximately one hour. Okie dokie, it's been about an hour and uh, 20 minutes or so. My, my pork and my celery is done. It's actually perfect, it's ready to go. I've turned off the heat because we don't need the heat now at this point. The next part of this recipe is very simple. It's the avgolemono, which is that lemony, eggy kind of uh, cream, kind of sauce that we put into this. Well, today, my friends, I'm gonna show you an easy, foolproof method to get perfect avgolemono every time without it curling on you or getting all kind of like grossness and getting chunks of scrambled eggs. We don't want that. So, first things first, let me grab myself a little bowl. You're gonna need something to keep everything in here. What I'm gonna do, this recipe here, I don't have to kind of mess around and separate eggs, I'm gonna just mix my eggs one at a time whole like there's no there's no messing around here so get that out of the way nothing to this perfect three eggs let me grab myself a whisk perfect and just whip up your eggs as if you were making scrambled eggs very easy very very easy now the whole trick to this whole avgolemono business is to make sure that this or your scrambled eggs don't get heated too fast and they don't end up scrambling on you. So I'm gonna grab the juice of a couple of lemons and all you're gonna do is just pour it in here, nice and easy, nothing complicated at all. I had breakfast so I'm all ready to do my squeezing here. That's fantastic. Now, I like my avgolemono pretty lemony, so I'm using the juice of two lemons. If you feel that you don't want it that lemony or you don't want it as tart, feel free to just do like, you know, one. That's totally fine. That's fantastic. And the pits will go there. Again, give this a quick whisk, incorporating the lemon and your beaten eggs, your whipped eggs. Now this part here is where all the marbles are. I am gonna take some of my hot liquid from here and I'm gonna slowly, very, very slowly, start tempering it in here. And tempering basically means I wanna bring up the temperature of the eggs without having them actual, actually cook. So, a little bit, this is where patience is a virtue, my friends. You don't wanna just dump, you know, a cup of juice in here and let everything get all mixed and curled. You're gonna have all chunky of lemon on and that's just gross. So continue beating this. There you go. And that's just perfect. Here is the next trick to the perfect avo lemon. You're gonna kind of even things out into your pot. And with this now, all you're gonna do is very slowly Start pouring this all around into your pot. Leave that there. And you're not going to agitate it in the sense of putting in like a kitchen tool, like a spoon or, or whatnot. You're just going to kind of jiggle this around and kind of shimmy the pot and making sure your avgolemono will get everywhere. Mmm, that is absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what I'm looking for. This consistency right here, that is absolutely perfect. So, that's my avgolemono dish. I will take a little bit because naturally I want to try this. I'm going to take a little piece of my meat 
as well. Look at this. It's just literally, it's just falling apart with some celery. That is exactly. Oh my God. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. This is it. Notice, look, look at my pork. My pork, literally, it flakes like tuna. Wow. Take a little piece of celery, too. Oh, yeah, this is hot. Mm. That's it right there. So good. You have that lemony tang. You have the sweetness balancing that tang from the celery. And it all comes together in with the pork. It's absolutely magnificent. This is a dish you can make anytime. Serve this, my friends, with feta cheese or some other kind of sharp cheese. I'd make sure you have plenty of bread, crusty bread to kind of dip in the sauce. Because this is all the marbles. Mmm. Mmm. So, my friends, here you have it. Sorry it took me so long to bring it up and make this. I've had like a ton of requests for this. And justifiably so. It is so amazing. It's a very easy dish to make. One pot. Clean up the snap. And it's a dish that, you know what? You make a pot of this and you're serving easily six, eight, ten people, no problems at all. Or a romantic dinner for two. So my friends, that's it for this uh, episode on Hirino Avgo Lemono or pork with celery and Avgo Lemono sauce. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? If you guys try these dishes, please Take a minute and snap a photo and send it to me. I would absolutely love to see how yours turned out. And until next time, I'm Ken. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.